Today's already been a lot. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, and good morrow. So after the unexpectedly positive uh, feedback that I got from my last witchcraft video, I'm actually gonna do another one. I'm gonna do my altar tour. Long before I started putting these videos on YouTube, I was debating on if I ever would, if I were to start doing it, and it took me a long time to come to this conclusion, but um, I think I think I'm ready with my little setup here. I think I'm ready to do it. So without further ado, we're gonna hop on into it. Okay, so starting off, um, up here in my windowsill, we have some rosemary and some basil. They aren't looking the best. I do need to give them a little bit more attention. I haven't been giving them the best recently. But moving down from my windowsill onto this mirrored platform that my mannequin is on, I have all of my burnables and combustibles and some um, spell jars slash herbs that I have over there. Um, so starting off in the corner, I have, well first I have this little Snow White fountain that I use to put my tarot book in because it's the only thing that'll hold it standing up straight and not on the floor. <laughs> um, I have the this jar of spell candles. Um, I use those candles for that candle holder because it just fits perfectly and it's wonderful. Uh, and then I actually have some menorah candles for some spell work. Super, super cheap, super easy to find. Love working with them. And then I have my four boxes of incense over here. Most of them are white sage and palo santo. The very last one is white sage and lavender. And right now I have two crystal um, candles burning right now, both from Target. I have my palo santo and my charcoal discs right next to that. In my cauldron I have my sage and then I have a little baggie that, for my charcoal disc. It's a blend that has lavender, sage, and cedar in it. And then here is where I throw all of my wax from my candles that have spilt over and or just they've dripped down so I peel it off and I throw it in there. It's easy to clean up. I don't really gotta do much with it. And then I have my incense burner, which is currently burning some um, white sage palo santo incense. I also have my little strainers for when I want to do like teas or baths. Moving on from those, I have crystals and some of my crystal jewelry it's kind of in the center here. I have a mix of like howlite, lapis lazuli, um, rose quartz, little earrings. I have my chakra set from here. I have my little bat crystal. I don't remember what he's made out of. I have been told a million times, but it never sticks in my head. Some blue angelite, I have some peridot, I have some carnelian, some selenite, more uh, clear quartz, red tiger's eye, malachite, uh, smoky quartz. I have, I believe this one's onyx, I'm not 100% sure. I do remember I got this as a gift, so I'm not 100%. Um, and then I have some garnet that I got from the crystal show, I have some jade, some green aventurine, uh, rose quartz, strawberry, agate, I have some amethyst, citrine. I have a broken black tourmaline that I dropped. No, it's not black tourmaline. That is onyx, I believe. Moving on to this kind of corner right here behind this candle, I do have my, um, this one, these are my, some of my spell jars and also just some um, mason jars that contain my herbs whenever I fill them up. This one is supposed to have beach sand in it, although I forgot to grab some while I was at the beach. And this one has my pink salt in it, um, spell work, casting circles, that sort of thing. This one has my bay leaves, again, spell work, that sort of thing. Back we have some of my Epsom salts with my little scoop that was in my witchy Christmas video. And then moving on from there we move into like my main altar space. Um, but I also have, in this corner I have a little Halloween tree I got from Target. And I have another one on this side and those are both holding a pendulum. This one has my chakra pendulum. It's actually missing one of the things, but I like to think of it that the clear quartz is the seventh one that it's missing because it can be used for all of them. So there's that one, and then this one, this pendulum is, uh, little focus, there we go, it is rose quartz, but I dropped it, and it broke, and I cried. So, there's that. Um, don't come at me for crying about it. It was the first day I got it, and I fell down the stairs, and they flew, and I boohooed. You can ask my family. Usually I have these books over here, but I was just practicing a little bit ago. So, um, I have my Book of Shadows and this, um little tiny notebook. This one I know is not going to be big enough for me, um, for my practice anyway. So as soon as I fin fill this one up, I'm going to like rip out the pages and put it in kind of like a scrapbook sort of thing. I got my first scrapbook that I'm going to turn into my Book of Shadows from Mother Crow here on YouTube as well. And this one is my first grimoire. I'm going to do the same thing. Hopefully either a binder or a scrapbook. And then this little belt holds them together. So we're going to put those back. There. I have my little box for my chakra stones for these ones whenever I do travel. 
And then I have my little uh, spell sachets slash spell bags um, that I keep right here. You can get them at the Dollar Tree, super inexpensive. I have my jar of ashes that contain my ashes from my incense and my ashes from the sage that I burn. Um, for, you know, making the paste right sigils, for making black salt, all sorts of different things. Speaking of black salt, I have it over in this jar on this side with all of my moon water. This one's moon water, moon water, moon water, moon water. I actually have another one of these full of moon water, but I use it to water my plants, so it's over with my plants downstairs. And then right here I have my uh, crushed charcoal. And then some apple cider vinegar and some little spell jars that I'm going to be using. Then up here I have my main area of where I practice. So I have my crystal um, energy wand that is clear quartz on both ends and it has uh, the chakras in the middle and it's copper and I want to say sterling silver. Then we have my mortar and pestle. And this is a form of agate. I don't know what type, but I do know that it is agate. <laughs> and then I, right behind that, I have my cauldron, which is currently housing my favorite bracelet that I've ever gotten. It is from my other, my adopted family, I like to call them. But since I'm already adopted, they're just my family. But they got me this, and it is the most me thing that I've ever had. I wear it all the time, but I like to keep it up here when I'm not wearing it because it reminds me that I do, in fact, effing have this. So then my little lid comes off, and we're doing some spell work in there. But right next to my cauldron, I keep my little voodoo doll that was made for me by Dempsey, as well as my crystal ball and my tarot cards. I also have my uh, seashells over here in the corner. I have my key for Hecate as an offering. And then... Usually over in that corner where I hold my that little pink thing right there is like my crystal bag wherever I'm traveling with them Right over there. I usually hold all my books But the only one that I was able to get out right now is my fairy Bible that my mom got me for Christmas I do also have a book on chakras and a, it's I believe it's called the only Wiccan spell book you're ever gonna need but that one is trapped behind that mirror so once I get my little tree moved, I'll get it all out. Apart from all the tools that I have on my altar, I do have my little cinnamon broom. I believe you can see, yeah, right there. It's hanging up. It is one of the full-size ones instead of the smaller ones. I do have my selenite ball on my nightstand as well as I have a amethyst sphere and I have a rose quartz, kind of like a little donut, I guess. Um, and then what else do I have? I have some smoky quartz on there, a big chunk of it. And then my crystal lamp. And I believe that's all I really use. If I end up finding more, then I will obviously do more videos on it. But that's about it. So if you have any questions, feel free to inbox me, DM me on Instagram, however you want to get through to me. That being said, my end card.